Currently, you and I looks like this, but in a few short weeks, it could be looking like this. Dr. Alan Sarneski, professor of meteorology here at the University of Northern Iowa, explains that we might be expecting another cold and snowy winter. Well, the, um, the current forecast from the Climate Prediction Center for winter, which is uh, December, January, and February, um, and that was last updated in the middle of September, and it probably will be updated again here fairly soon. Um, what, they're, what they're projecting for our winter in Iowa is that the uh, temperatures in just the northern uh, set of counties in Iowa have a little better chance of being cooler than normal, um, while the states, uh, I'm sorry, the counties in the probably the lower oh, three-fourths of the state um, are expected to be uh, equal chances. In other words, it looks like it's, it's equally likely to be above normal, below normal, or near normal in, in most of the state. But a little bit more of a tendency for the northern portion of Iowa, Iowa to be cold this winter. Um, in terms of precipitation, actually the current projection is equal chances again, that, that there is no clear indication that it's going to be above normal, near normal, nor, near normal or below normal. It kind of looks equally likely to be in any one of those categories. For Assistant Director of University Planning, Paul Myerman, they've been way ahead of Mother Nature. Preparations for winter. Winter will come. It, it always does. Um, the uh, preparation is such that the solid orders go in in May, so that's been done for quite a while. Uh, if, uh, if we get a snow at night, we come in at 3, we're usually able to have the campus in a pretty stable, usable condition by 8 o'clock, and that, that's our goal. While some winters can be more severe than others, both men agree that the best advice for students, faculty, and UNI residents is to stay ahead of the storm by checking local forecast or getting the latest information by checking out the National Weather Service's website at www.weather.gov. Either way, Paul says his crews will be ready. In our shop, we plan for the worst and, and hope for the best. Uh, um, we'll deal with it whether, you know, regardless of how the weather comes. Mm -hmm. um, we've been We've had experience of three or four years in a row of considerably higher than normal snows, so I think we're, we're certainly developing the experience or whatever, so hey, if it's heavy winter again, we, it'll be familiar to us. Reporting for UNITV, I'm Travis McBride.